smoke cleared a little bit, although some parts are still kind of orange in the sky. Now, with that in mind, what's going on today? Some interesting stuff around the world, I guess. How about this first one? This one's a drone delivery where they're launching drones around an area to deliver things like medicine, which is becoming a thing in a lot of places. This one says, medicines by drone in the small cyclades. Medical supplies to the inhabitants of the small islands of the Aijin will be transported via drone. Demonstration in the presence of the Minister of Finance. The Minister of Health, Thanos Plebris, participated today in a demonstration of the transport of pharmaceutical and health materials via drone to cover the health service needs of the inhabitants of the small islands of Aijin. In particular, the Nova company, in collaboration with the Greek startup Ucan Drone, transport medical equipment via drone to the small cyclades. As well, I was interested in seeing what the drone actually looked like, and by the looks of it, it didn't seem like it's a quadcopter by these pictures anyways. It seems like it's more of a traditional helicopter type of design. So it's kind of interesting in that sense. I've seen these types of designs used before in other places for actually medical drone delivery as well. Makes me wonder if everyone just follows the exact same blueprint as well, or is there actually some kind of innovation in the hardware? Either way, more people using it to deliver things like medicine and all, which is expected. Lots of news about the war and stuff still, and with all that drone attack, apparently, I guess, UK is going to start sanctioning people like Iran? This one says, UK sanctions Iran over kamikaze Russian drones. The UK is implementing new sanctions on Iranian individuals and businesses responsible for supplying Russia with kamikaze drones used to bombard Ukraine. UK measures target Russian drone supplies used to attack civilian targets and critical infrastructure in Ukraine. Today's sanctions target Iranians responsible for supplying Russia with kamikaze drones. Procurement is further evidence of Iran's destabilizing role in global security and a clear violation of a UN Security Council resolution. That's kind of interesting because here it will sound like they're actually trying to target specifically who they feel are supplying, let's just say, the drones and all that versus just having a blanket statement. Every one of that, I guess, culture and so forth is now banned, which is the weird thing if you guys remember. Like apparently people who were Iranian that were studying in places like Ukraine, they were just banned and so forth just because you are, I guess, within that culture of people. So at least this one, they're not discriminating against everybody. Will this actually stop people from fighting at all? Who knows? Maybe we'll just make one side or the other more angry. And in terms of, I guess, UK, this was everywhere here. And why it got my attention was, isn't this the same lady where she was saying before in that video how their way of dealing with, quote, drones, I guess, around a prison is to have, I don't know, dogs barking at it or something like that? Well, I guess apparently in the UK, she became the prime minister, I guess, just a short while ago. But just like that, apparently she's resigning. Now this one here says, UK's Liz Truss steps down as Prime Minister and Conservative Party leader after 44 days in office. British Prime Minister Liz Truss has announced her resignation after six weeks in office following a month of political turmoil and mounting pressure on her premiership. The Conservative Party is expected to have a leadership election within the next week. Wow, what the heck happened over there? Was she doing that bad of a job where people were revolting like a lot? It made me wonder too because with these types of roles you always have like those stories where these people who I guess resign to get like a very generous pension and all that so the fact that she quit so quick does she still get rewarded for it and I was just reading like some of these articles or posting stuff like this saying what after just 45 days in office Liz Truss is eligible to collect a yearly 115 what thousand pound allowance for the rest of her life wow no wonder why Politicians want to be politicians, man. You can screw up for whatever, it doesn't matter. You're basically set for life. Something's wrong, in my opinion, with the system, isn't it? It made me think too, if people are really that upset where she had to resign afterwards, if the solution now is, oh, we need to elect a new leader from that party, wouldn't more people demand, nope, you better have like a new election in general. That's what I would think anyways. But I guess I'm not surprised with that person's comment, like I said, about sicking dogs at drones and all that. Then again, I guess people voted for them, right? So who knows what's going on?
Alright, see you guys later.